Christmas Day comes with dinner and a main dish of comedy at the Laugh Factory. For four decades, founder Jamie Masada has been feeding the unhoused. I sat down with him as this year he was honored by our industry, media, the L.A. Press Club. It feels very strange to be here when it's so quiet. I know. On Christmas Day, this place comes alive with the sounds of comedians and food. Absolutely. And this is going to be our 43 years, and we've been doing that. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving, everybody! On Thanksgiving, we had so many people came through, and people, they would come in, and they pick up food. We advertise, if anybody want to come in, pick up some food, and give it to some people in their neighborhood. We're on the stage now. When you look up and see your comedians performing at Christmas, you think what? God bless them. God bless them. Comedians are the most giving people in the world. And I'm lucky to be in that business. Without comedian, I wouldn't be able to do that. This is nice. I'm a homie for you. You were honored by the press club. What did that honor mean to you? I was so humble. I came back and I started crying because it meant so much to me because here is all of you guys, you press, you do all of the stories about everybody, and to pick me. What do you think is the voice of the comic when it comes to press, current events? It's important time, the comedian, and I'm working on to making the First Amendment always be alive. Laugh Factory has been here how long? 43 years. 43 years. Richard Pryor said, you're colorblind, you only see talent, and it goes on. That's right. This is quite the wall of fame. Some of them belong to Groucho Marx. Groucho Marx. It. And I got it all most stuff him from him. Oh my goodness, Lucia you know, Ball. Lucia Ball, Bob Hope. I really, from the time I was a child, my father said, greatest deed or greatest mitzvah you could do for any mankind, bring a smile in their face. My introduction to the Laugh Factory was the 1990s for a story on their annual comedy camp to give kids a voice, but really to help their self-esteem. My legacy, I want to I change one kid through comedy camp every year. That means so much. That's my legacy. Mm. And he really changed the life of Tiffany Haddish, who was in foster care and homeless, and she goes back to serve as well. So this Sunday, Christmas Day, the Laugh Factory plans to feed 2,000 people. For the first time, they're going to offer free flu shots, COVID vaccinations, health screenings. And Jamie says to spread the word, invite someone in need. It is remarkable to see that. And by the way, during that big L.A. Press Club awards presentation, the other top award went to... You. Well, that's how I knew his story. I'm like, that's a story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. New